it's not your choice. You don't get to choose your test. Allah, please test me and my money. Don't test me and my family. Allah, please test me and my health, but just don't test me and my family. Allah, please test me in anything, but just don't test me in my family. You can't run from the test of Allah. You can't choose the test of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us these tests to purify us, to make us better. And remember that each and every person is an individual belonging to Allah. You don't belong to anyone else. On the day of judgment, لا يغني مولاً عن مولاً شيئاً no ties of kinship or bonds of anything, your best friend. No one will be able to benefit anyone else. It's just you and Allah. It's your son and Allah. Your wife and Allah. Wallahum yansaru. There will be no help offered. Illa man rahim Allah. Except a person who, has, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mercy on. And purification of ourselves one of the things that we must address is the heart and having mercy on the mankind, having mercy on the creation of Allah. These things will draw the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards us. Mercy is being kind, being generous, being given, uh, giving, being uh, of service, doing service, khidma, helping, and it's not just regular people being forgiving, overlooking people's faults and doing good things to them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mercy on Fir'aun. He sent him a Nabi to give him da'wah. Not for one day, two days, three days, for years. He sent him signs, miracles to bring him close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And gave him years, chances and chances and chances and chances and chances. And meanwhile, while he was doing all of his crimes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still gave him food. Allah gave Fir'aun food to eat. Allowed his digestive system to work perfectly. Gave him water, gave him sleep. For years. Mercy is also being in a position to punish someone and instead of punishing them for justly punishing them for their wrongs instead of doing that being very lenient and kind and gentle in giving to them and supporting and helping them trying to do good for them in spite of their wrongs and their injustice towards you being forgiving Wallahu ghafur rahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Nur And forgive and overlook The faults and the flaws and the transgressions of people Don't you want that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive you And overlook your faults and your flaws So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those people who are forgiving Who are merciful to mankind and who purify ourselves before that time comes where we have no choice except to be purified by Allah. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us from the punishments of the grave and the punishments of the hellfire. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us and our families from the punishments at the time of death and the difficulties in this life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make things easy for us. All of the Muslims who are suffering and who are going through trials throughout the entire world and all the Muslim countries and non-Muslim countries and America and our communities and our families. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with easy and, and uh, successful and peaceful means through the trials that we face so that we become more pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and more successful in this life and in the next.